in a moment, we'll find out how he makes out as... From Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic-Tac-Toe. And now, here's our host, Wink Martindale. Thank you very much, Jay Stewart. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey, welcome to our little X and O game. We are delighted to have you. And we have the makings of a very big winner on Tic-Tac-Toe right now. And first, let's meet him and then the challenger, and we'll get started. Here we go, Jay. Okay, Wink, the current champion is winning total in cash and prizes. $21,000 is a salesman who enjoys flying. Meet Ron Duvall. And his opponent has been a tile setter and a grocery clerk. And he's now working as a singing gorilla. Meet Gerard Lafont. I tell you, the way you walked out here, Gerard, you walked over here to greet him, I thought you, instead of shaking hands, you were going to go, how you doing? I thought about it, Wink. <laughs> you thought about it, but you didn't quite follow through. Tile setter and a grocery clerk. I want to talk about just a little bit about your being a singing gorilla, though. <laughs> what, what is the reaction? What's the general reaction to somebody when you go to sing a telegram and you're in this gorilla suit? Well, usually they run. <laughs> they run a lot. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Hide behind the furniture, you know. What does that kind of thing cost? What if I called up your company and I said, hey, I'd like to hire somebody to come do a gorilla gram. What does that cost? Well, it depends on how far away it is, Wink, but usually we start at around $50. Mm -hmm. And um, you well, get the gorilla and you get a gift. <laughs> let's me out. You also have people who come out and uh, belly dance, too, don't you? Oh, yeah. yeah what would that cost? <laughs> about the same. Yeah, that's a deal. All right, I'll do that. <laughs> hey, welcome. Good luck. Okay. How you doing, Ron? Just fine. Ron the Bon. Ron, is it Duval or Duval? Duval. Duval. You have won $21,000 in cash and prizes so I'm far. I'm very pleased. You've got to walk out here feeling pretty darn good. Yes. What are you going to do with the money? I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't been able to plan that far ahead. I'd like to buy a plane. And if you beat this guy in this next uh, game, you're going to win yourself a car. Yes. Hey, let's see if they can do that right now. <laughs> On the last show, you had tied once. You were in the middle of your second game when time ran out. Here are the categories we're playing with. The subjects in this game are comic books, famous actors, the 70s, foreign words, state capitals, female achievers, cars, strange names, and world literature. Here's what the board looked like when we had to stop on the last show. Two X's, Ron with that all-important center box, and Gerard with two O's. Let's move the categories around, do a quick shuffle. By the way, this is uh, a game that's worth, at this point, $2,600. Ron, begin, please. Um, let's go to the lower left with state capitals, Wink. Here's your question on that subject. The city of Dover, which has a population of less than 20,000 people, is the capital of the second smallest state in the country. Name this state. Delaware. Yes, Dover, Delaware. Another X goes up on the board, another 200 in the box. Four boxes left, Gerard, let's shuffle. Here they come for you to select. Cars, world lit. Comic books and foreign words. Well, that's my favorite subject, and it's in a good place. I'll take comic books in the upper right there. All right. right. Block. You're going for a block of Ron. Gerard, answer this, and you'll do it. When police scientist Barry Allen is doused with chemicals, he becomes a superhero with super speed. Name Allen's speedy alter ego. The Flash. Right, The Flash. <laughs> good for a block. Put it all there. Three boxes left on the board. Ron? We're going to shuffle these <laughs> subjects, and in those boxes comes up world literature, female achievers, and cars. I think I'll go to female achievers on the top wing. All right, top center, female achievers, the subject. Ron, here's your question. This prominent television newswoman left NBC's Today Show to co-anchor the evening news on ABC. Today, she's one of television's top interviewers of controversial celebrities. Name her. Barbara Walters. Yes, that's right. Another X goes up on the board. Another $200 in the box. All right, the circle getting tighter and tighter. We're down to two boxes, as you can see. The categories will appear in those. will determine if we have a tie. Let's shuffle. There they are, Gerard, with $3,200 in the pot. Well, Wink, I think I'm going to try famous actors for the block. Bottom center, subject famous actors. Answer this correctly. We'll have a tie. This famous actor created memorable roles in films like The Grapes of Wrath and Mr. Roberts and is the father of two famous show business personalities. For your second tie, name him. That's Henry Fonda. Yes, for a tie game. <laughs> 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 
second tie game, a bet's in refunda. Gerard, I can tell you're in show business, so to speak. $3,400 in the pot. We're going to have nine new categories now, and the pot will continue to grow from $3,400. Here are the subjects. Names the same, women writers, Bills and Billies, Men of the Sea, Famous Movies, Initials, Bearded Men, Scary Things, and there's a secret category. That could be any category at all. The question will uh, <coughs> automatically, the pot will automatically double if you answer that question correctly. All right, we're ready to go with $3,400 in the pot. Ron, select. Um, I think I'll go for a surprise with secret category in the corner, Wink. Going to start with secret category. All right, Ron. <coughs> this secret category is heroic acts. Answer this question correctly, and the pot will double to $6,800. Here's the question. In June 1940, 350,000 Allied troops attempted a heroic escape from the tiny seaport of Dunkirk. To make that pot $6,800, in what country is Dunkirk located? I believe it's France. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and the pot jumps to $6,800 and rising. Put an X there. Let's move the categories around. <laughs> we shuffle them all around, Gerard. Well, <laughs> I guess I'll go for Bills and Billies in the center there. Wayne. Bills and Billies in the center. That'll be worth $300 to the pot. In 1867, while serving as Secretary of State, William Seward purchased a large area of land from a foreign nation. Although Seward paid only two cents an acre, the purchase immediately became known as Seward's Folly. First, name the area of land Seward purchased, and then name the country he purchased it from. Gerard, think about that. <laughs> Talking about the purchase known as Seward's Folly. Gerard, name the area of land Seward purchased. That was Alaska. Yes, name the country he purchased it from. Russia. Right, good for the center box. So we put it all there, $300 more to the pot. We'll take a commercial break. Then continue this important game. Ron has already defeated four opponents. He's still trying to beat Gerard. If he does that, he will have defeated five opponents and will have won this, Jay. It's a brand new car! <laughs> the new Buick Skylark. Designed for comfort and convenience. It's on wheel drive. Providing impressive control and traction. Furnished by Buick. And polyglyco -like sound shield for the noisy underside of your car. Not an undercoating. Polyglyco -like is a sound shield. Available at new car dealers only. Okay, Wink. Thank you, Jay. Now let's get back to the business at hand. $7,100 in the pot, and a growing pot it is. Let's move the categories around. A quick shuffle will bring us back to Ron. Uh, let's go to the upper left-hand corner, Wink, with Men of the Sea. Men of the Sea, the subject. Here's the question in that category. The Spanish explorer Ponce de Leon was once a shipmate of Christopher Columbus. He later explored Florida in a fruitless search for a legendary spring. Name it. The Fountain of Youth. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Fountain of Youth. I think Dick Clark found it already. Let's move the categories around. Another $200 in the pot. It's now worth 7,300 big ones, Gerard. Okay, well, how about bearded men in the bottom center there, Wink? How about bearded men? Gerard, this eccentric billionaire was described as having a long beard during the last years of his life. During his career, he owned several airline companies, a motion picture studio, and a gambling casino. Name him. Howard Hughes. Yes, Howard Lebar Hughes. Put it over. there. Another $200 in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories around. Plan for $7,500, Ron. Uh, Wink, I've got to go back to Men of the Sea to block. Yeah, you need a block of Gerard. Answer this correctly, and you'll have it. On April 6, 1909, Commander Robert E. Perry led the first expedition to reach this region in the frozen Arctic. For a block, name it. The North Pole. Yes, that's right, for a block. Put an X there. Four boxes left. Yeah. Let's shuffle. In the pot, $7,700, Gerard. Okay, it's time to go to famous movies to block him, Wink. To block Ron, Gerard. Mm -hmm. Return the favor by answering this correctly. Take a look at this picture, please. This comic scene is from an Academy Award-winning film. For a block, tell me its complete title. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. Correct. Just for another block on the board. Put it over there. Another $300 in the pot. Or another $200. All right, we have three boxes left on the board. Let's shuffle. Ron, you can pick from those subjects. 
I'll have to go back with uh, Bearded Men to block, Wink. Bearded Men, the subject. You're going for a block of Gerard again. In the pot, $7,900. Ron, this bearded musician became the country's top sing-along choir master in the early 60s and recorded over a dozen sing-along albums that sold millions of copies. For a block, name him. Mitch Miller. Yes, the bearded one, Mitch Miller. Another $200 in the pot. In the pot, we have $8,100. The moment of truth is getting closer. We're down to two boxes. Anything could happen. The categories that'll appear will determine what happens. Let's shuffle. Well, Gerard? Why not famous movies again? Wink, I had luck with it last time. <laughs> famous movies. Any particular reason you want to shoot for that well, subject? I think I'd like to block it. <laughs> okay. Gerard, famous movies. Answer this, you'll block Ron. First, Take a look at this picture. In this 1979 movie, a former rodeo champion sells breakfast food from a bucking hobby horse. For a block, name the movie. The Electric Horseman. Yes, that's right. Block. And another $200 in the pot. One box left. The category that's going to appear in this box will decide if we have another tie. Let's shuffle. The subject is Bills and Billies. Ron? Would you like that, Ron? <laughs> uh, let's go with Bills and Billies. Right? All right. That's exactly what I wanted you to say. Answer this correctly. We'll have our third tie between you and Gerard. In this hit television series, a female reporter named Billy Newman often finds her ambition daunted by the city editor of a Los Angeles newspaper. Name the editor, you name the series, and we have a tie. Lou Grant. Yes, the third tie game. <laughs> so tie number three between Ron and Gerard. And Ron still doesn't have that automobile because he has not defeated his fifth opponent yet. Gerard, how you feel? Well, uh, right now, about as tense as you can imagine. Wink tense is a, <laughs> a, a well-wound wubba band, right? Gerard? White, white. Uh, <laughs> he's talking back to me that way. <laughs> All right, in the pot, we have $8,500. We're going to show you nine new categories, and the pot will continue to grow from $8,500 with every correct answer. Here are the subjects for your next game. Funny ladies, famous buildings, about words, civil war, movies of the 60s, maps of nations, games, biographies, and physics. $8,500 the pot. Ron, begin. Uh, I think I'll go to the center with movies of the 60s. This is worth $300 to the pot, Ron, as you know. Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice was a smash comedy hit of 1969, exploring the modern lifestyles of two married couples. Name any two of the four performers who played the title roles. Think about that for a few seconds. Ron, for that center box, I want you to name any two of the four performers who played the title roles in Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice. Natalie Wood. Yes. And Elliot Gould. Yes, that's right. <laughs> the other two were Robert Culp and Diane Cannon. All right, put an X there. Three hundred more dollars in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. We're playing now for eight thousand eight hundred dollars, Gerard. Okay, how about the Civil War in the lower right there, Wink? All righty, here's the question on Civil War. This political party was founded in 1854 in opposition to a bill that permitted slavery in Kansas and Nebraska. Abraham Lincoln was this party's first candidate to be elected president. Name the party. The Republican Party. Yes, that's right, the Republican Party. So we put it over there and another $200 in the pot. With $9,000 in the pot and a car for Ron, we're going to pause for this commercial break. We'll be right back. <laughs> car right now, $9,000 in the pot. Let's move the categories around. And Ron, it'll be your turn as we continue. Uh, let's go back to movies of the 60s again, Wink, on the right. Here's the question. In this popular movie comedy, Actor Peter Sellers plays several roles, including the President of the United States, a British captain, and the title character, a crazed scientist. Name the film. Dr. Strangelove. Yes, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bob. Dr. Strangelove. Put an X there, let's shuffle again. Gerard, $9,200 in the pot. Well, I'd like to block him, Wink, so I think I'll try games in the uh, left center. 
For a block on games, answer this. In this board game, a player might make a series of diagonal jumps over enemy men and end up on King's Row. The British call this game drafts. For a block, what is this game called in America? Checkers. Yes, that's right, for a block. Put it over there, let's shuffle again. Another $200 in the pot. It's worth $9,400. Ron, select again, please. Uh, let's go to the lower left-hand corner, Wink, with about words. First time in the category, Ron. This word for something you cast on election day is derived from an Italian word meaning little ball. Name this word. Ballot. Yes. Little ball, a ballot. Our next goes there. Let's shuffle. $200 added to the pot. It's worth $9,600 and growing, Gerard. Oh, my. What is that I see? I guess I'll have to try <laughs> physics to block him in the upper right-hand corner. <laughs> All right, you're looking for a diagonal block. The subject is physics. Answer this, you'll block Ron. This great 16th century Italian physicist who laid the foundation for modern experimental science showed that falling bodies of different weights travel at the same speed. For a block, name him. Leonardo da Vinci. No, Galileo. Uh, Galileo. Terrible. Still $9,600 in the pot. Let's shuffle and return to Ron. Uh, Wink, I'll go with funny ladies to win. If you answer the question on funny ladies correctly, Ron, you will have $9,800 in cash. You will win a new automobile, and that will bring your total winnings on tic-tac-toe to exactly $36,100. All you need for all of that is the correct answer to the question I'm about to ask. This long-running television series featured funny ladies Valerie Harper, Georgia Engel, and Betty White. However, the series was titled after another comedy star. For a new car, a total of $36,100, name her. Mary Tyler Moore. Yes! <laughs> That was one of the wildest matches I've seen around here. One of the most uh, energetic and exciting matches on Tic-Tac-Toe in quite some time. Ron, uh, you won $9,800 in cash on another game. I think in the pot, uh, it had risen to like 6000 in cash. How do you feel now to pick up $9,800 in cash with one answer like that, plus the car? It makes me feel good that I'll be able to buy gas now. <laughs> Not only can he buy gas, he's got something to put the gas in. <laughs> yeah, you can buy at least, oh gosh, a couple of hundred gallons of gas with $9,800. <laughs> Ron, congratulations to you and uh, continued success against the Dragon when we play up against him shortly. Well, Gerard Lafon, not only were you excellent as a uh, tic-tac-toe player, but I think, and I can say this in all sincerity, I don't think anybody would contradict this. You are probably the most handsome singing gorilla that this show or any show will ever have. Gerard, you didn't win against Ron, but you did give us some exciting moments on Tic-Tac-Toe, and as you know, for every tie game, you get $250. You played three of them, so you leave us with $750, and that'll buy a lot of new gorilla suits for that job you, you're all, involved in. All in a day's work, Wayne. Yeah. Gerard, thank you so much. A nice round of applause from a gentleman who gave us a lot of fun and three good games. We'll be right back. during that uh, final commercial break about, uh, is this really happening? And Ron went, I don't believe this. And I said, yep, that money up there is now money that you can put into your pocket. 
$9,800, a new car, something you can drive away from our studios, and it all comes to $36,100. Again, I wish you good luck as we pick it up on the next show. Thank you. You'll be going up against the Dragon, of course, with the help. Will your secretary and her husband be able to come back and, and call the right numbers for you next time? <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to check it with them and see. All right, join us and see if they show up. Bye-bye, everybody.